Marie Corbett, 1859 to 1932. Marie scandalised her neighbours by riding a bicycle and showing her ankles. But then shocking her neighbours wasn't unusual for Marie. She was an ardent feminist and rebelled against her social class who believed the poor to be dirt under their feet, something that could be kicked aside. For Marie, the poor needed help and she would do that through social action, helping them with their housing and emotional needs whilst her husband helped with any legal issues. In 1887, annoyed with the lack of progress in getting the vote, she formed the Liberal Women's Suffrage Society, along with others such as Millicent Fawcett. She was met with hostility from the disapproving crowds she drew. When women were finally allowed to stand at local elections, she scandalised her neighbours again and became a borough councillor. But it was the workhouses that were the true scandal, and the worst of these, beyond worst, was Eastbourne Workhouse. It was famous for its cruelty, and Marie wasn't having any of that. Her sense of justice meant she had to do something. So she did. She rescued the children by finding homes for them, paying the new parents five shillings, 25p, a week for each child, the equivalent of £16.50 in today's money. It was the beginning of foster care as we know it. She had up to 100 children in her care and made sure they went to the dentist and read all their school reports. She was making sure they had a future. If Marie was alive today, what do you think she would be doing now? A leader, certainly, and perhaps a spokesperson for shelter, maybe the UK director for Save the Children, or head of the Adoption and Fostering Academy.